Sometimes we might need to run the Power Automate flow for the selected records. Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. In this video, we will try to implement a situation where we need to run a Power Automate flow whenever we select any record. There is a new connector which is introduced in the Power Automate that is when a row is selected. This connector is specific for the dataverse. So in order to achieve this particular requirement, we need to use the model driven app. So for the simplicity, I have created a model driven app for you. Let me just show you. I have a learning app that is of type model driven. Let me just play this. So here you can see in my model driven app, I have a parent table inside this parent table. If I open any parent i have a subgrid that is showing me the child of this parent if i check for any other let's say if parent to child if i go for the third one for the parent three i have two childs okay now just consider a case you might need to create a child for any parent based on the selection so in order to achieve this, we would create a Power Automate flow. So we'll go to here and then we'll go to the flows. Let it load. So our task is whenever a user select a particular parent or any record, we would create the child of this particular record. So our aim is to get the context of the selected item. So we'll go here and then we'll click on the new flow. We'll start with the instant cloud flow. And then here we have a trigger, which is when a row is selected, that is of Dataverse. We select this one and then say create child. I click on this create button. Here I need to add the table through which I want this particular flow to be triggered because as it would trigger when a row is selected. So we need to mention from which table the row would be selected in order to trigger this flow. So I would say our table name is parent table. So I'll just search it here. Parent and I can see I have a parent table. Next, what I need to do whenever I use a click select a particular parent, I need to create the child of it. So I'll just click on the create new step and then I'll say go to the dataverse here I have a action that is add a new row I click on this one now I need to pass the child table name so if I just open it my child table name is child table so I can click on here and I can search for child I have child tables. That's my table name. I click on this. Now, once I select my child table, it start populating me the columns that is present inside this table. So I can see that I have a name. So I would use whatever name is coming from the trigger. So I say the name. child okay and then for some difference i'm using a expression that you to see now in order to maintain the uniqueness i'll just use some underscores now i need to also pass the parent so parent i can get from the upper action I'll just go to the dynamic contents and then I have a parent table. So I click on this one. Now I click on this save button. 
as on the trigger itself i have mentioned that this particular flow is connected to my parent table so i when i go back to my model driven and i go to this parent table on this view itself in this model driven app we have a flows if i expand this it is loading all the flows that relate to either they are instant flows or that relate to this particular table so i can see i have a create child flow now this flow is coming from this because this child create child flow is triggering whenever our record is selected inside the parent table so let's say i click for this parent one i can see that i have a only one child if i go back i select on this one i'll go and then flows and then i click on this create child so it would create a child for my parent so let's see what is happening i click on this run flow and done now you notice that i haven't created the child manually i simply triggered my flows now if i open this i can see that it is showing only one let me try to refresh it is still showing one it means there is something uh, which i'm missing let me just check go and check this so this particular flow should be triggered because i have triggered it manually from that table itself so if i go and create child i can see that it has triggered but it has failed okay there is some error which we can fix for the segments okay you are is not paused okay so there is some error that i need to just fix it okay so let me just fix it and then i'll just show you back i'm just pausing this video in order to just fix this error so guys i'm able to fix that issue it the only problem only thing is like uh, there is a syntax error in order to pass the lookup values you would need the plural name of the table enclosed in the parenthesis with the lookup id okay so that's the only difference now let me try to save this and then run this flow for any other table let's say for the parent three if i click on this one and then i hit on the flow and i click on this create child now it got me the pop-up that this particular flow would be triggered so i simply say yes let it load this screen okay so it is just using all the connection and everything and then run the flow and done now i just hit on the refresh on this one now it should have created a child into my parent three if i open the parent three i can see that i have a child which is created now right now i have three child so let for example let me create one more child for this parent three if i go back click on this edit create child and then run the flow run flow and then now i should have four so here you can see i have four child now so that's how you can see we can use this connector or an action that is when a row is selected right now it is only acceptable for the data word so that is the reason it needs to be checked inside the model driven apps so that is all in this video everyone i hope you can understand it and 
use this feature in order to build your automations works faster like in this case we have only one field that needs to be populated we just need to create a child but in some cases you might need around 15 to 20 rows 15 to 20 columns that needs to be filled so that would take so much time so we would create such sort of a power Tool flow that the users can directly trigger it by selecting the record okay so i hope you enjoyed this so have a nice day everyone thank you